I'm the Disc Golf Guy and this is my video blog. Today is Tuesday, the day before the 2014 USDGC kicks off and I did what I've done in the past which is run around and catch up with all of our top pros. We've got some whole previews, we've got their likes, their dislikes, what they're planning to do and we got some of the distance action. That's right, Simon Lizotte, top qualifier, 681 feet and believe it or not, it was with a putter. Okay, it wasn't with a putter, but he threw a putter like 500 feet. So, with that being said, we're going to cut right to the action. We're going to bring you action all week long here at the 2014 USDGC. I'm your host, Terry Miller, the Disc Golf Guy. Let's get to it. Caught up with Cam Todd, your 2001 world champion. Qualified for the USDGC on Monday. Tell us about your round, Cam. Um, well, started out pretty good. Hit the cage on one. Already the next couple holes, sun shiny, and then it started raining a little bit. And uh, wind picked up, got a little stressful, had a few sixes out there. <laughs> a so, few? Yeah, wow. a few. And, um, you know, just played through it, had a really good finish, and, uh, you know, got over the nerves. That was quite interesting, having to qualify for the first time. So it was fun, it was interesting, and I had a great time. Ken Climo, a five time U.S. champion. Nobody with as many titles as you here. What's it going to take to pull it down this week? Uh, as usual, it's going to take some, some good heady play. You know, keeping it in bounds is a must out here. Start throwing it out of bounds, man. You take too many strokes. It's hard to go birdie bogey, birdie bogey, and then get anywhere on this course. But, uh, you know, good putting, good strategy, and uh, just a good head game. You know, I think that's what it really takes out here, keeping your head together and not getting flustered by one mistake, you know, not letting it compound into three or four. You've got more experience than all the other players out here. Maybe not the distance like you used to, but does it, does that matter? What's going to play out more? Uh, on this course, it doesn't matter as much. You know, a lot of the OB gets a little tighter the farther you go up the fairway. So playing safe at about 350, you know, sometimes is the way to go on a lot of these holes. There's a couple of holes where distance helps, but uh, all in all, like I said, it's going to be the guy who keeps it in bounds and makes his putts this week. And I feel like I can I can compete on this course. We all know Ken Climo still got it. <laughs> All right, best of luck to you. Thanks. We're here with Simon Lazat, hole number five, USDGC. Simon, what do you think? Uh, I'm thinking I'm really lucky to be here right now on this beautiful day in Rock Hill and on my favorite hole probably in the world. And just look at it, the beautiful fountains, the fairway, the basket away on the other side. It's just laid out to be a beautiful disco hole. And how does one of the furthest throwers in the game attack a hole that's more than a thousand feet long with OB? Uh, my game plan will be Heiser, Heiser, Heiser birdie. Wow, simple enough. <laughs> exactly. You got any sponsors or any discs that you throw? I love disc mania. Fair Very enough. Game. <laughs> Good luck. There it is. Favorite hole in the world. Easy as that. I have caught up with Katrina Allen, our current women's world champion. Katrina, yesterday during Monday qualifying, you tried to tame the beast that is Winthrop Gold. Tell us a little bit about your experience. Um, I guess I always started off great, and then it seemed like my first round, um, there was a weight on five, and the first part of five, and it started downpouring. And so that didn't go so well. But I thought with the weather conditions to keep pushing, and I played all the way through 888. Um, actually, I played all the way to 15, and then kind of just slipped through it, put me in the bushes on the left, and then tried to get out, went OB, so I said it was probably good to go have lunch and regroup. And you came back out for a second round. The, the weather somewhat cleared up a little bit and yeah. uh, you tried to push through and uh, again kind of the just same up. thing <laughs> actually I started great got to five started raining again and then just you know the wind conditions were a little different so I didn't adjust as well to those it was actually calmer than I had played all week and so 
I guess just I knew what was uh, in at that point and I was you know kind of out of reach and stopped at I think hole 12 after that but all right well you get to relax a little bit this yeah. week you get to watch Paul play some good Support golf Paul for sure and uh, you get to uh, well I guess sit back and enjoy your uh, world title at the moment what are you looking forward to the rest of the year um, I have a goal of winning 30 tournaments uh, a deal with Michael Sullivan about a Prada purse so um, see if I could hit that goal I have a kind of a busy end of the year still but We'll see how it goes. All right. Well, we wish you the best of luck, and uh, maybe we'll see you out here next year, and maybe you'll be qualified before you even show up on Monday. That'd be awesome. Thanks, Terry. All right. I've caught up with Nate Doss, who is a champion here at the USDGC. Nate, what are we looking at for the changes here on hole number one? Hole one. A uh, few changes. The basket, the, the biggest change, I think, is the basket's just a little bit longer. Um, about, I, I would say, like 15 feet, no more than that. Uh, making it, I don't know if it's a little harder or a little easier, but it's just 15 feet longer. And then uh, about four days ago, we got the brand new rocks here in the center of the fairway. Uh, sort of really only affecting the people who maybe threw low off the tee. It just kind of makes you throw a little bit higher. And honestly, I think it makes you probably throw it to the basket a little bit easier. The fact that you throw a little higher, you might throw a different disc or something like that so maybe it makes it a little easier for some people but everything out here is always to get you to think and, and I think that's uh, what that's all about but um, all right putter or buzz here on hole number putter, one putter definitely putter yeah right. if I throw a buzz it'll it'll go too long so stick with the putter all right good luck yes week. sir I've caught up with Ricky Waisaki who's looking to hunt down another major here at the USDGC this week Ricky what's it gonna take well, you know, a few of the holes have changed. Um, you know, I've been out here practicing. I'm sure a lot of people have. Uh, so, you know, the, the course changed, tweaked a little bit, but I'm, I'm, but it's still the typical USDGC. Nothing, you know, the, all the OB, none of that's changed. All, you know, most of the OB is the same. So, that that factor is still there, and uh, the USDGC factor, uh, stepping up the whole one is, is still uh, nerve wracking. Wow, no, no matter how many times you played here, you know, it, it just it you get the butterflies every time you step on hole one. So, I'm excited to to experience that for tomorrow. We're gonna have galleries, we're gonna have crowds, people, hopefully the weather cooperates, there's even distractions like oh, yeah. <laughs> golf carts that go by. What does it take for Ricky Waisaki to get in the zone? Well, you know, you know, I just gotta carry over these practice rounds and get this the muscle memory rolling over to the tournament. Uh, so, you know, I, I think I've practiced enough to be able to, to perform well for the tournament. So, uh, I hope, hopefully I can uh, stick to my game plan. There you go. Backhands, sidearms, we'll see it all. And oh, along yeah. with probably a few long putts from downtown. Good oh, luck yeah. to you. Thanks, Terry. Thank you. Look at this guy. What do you got, Kenny? Second year, see her. It's like a personalized USDGC dish. How many years did you Second year. Got my home state in Florida. Very nice, buddy. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. The bag tag. <laughs> now the box. Get yourself. <laughs> Get yourself. <laughs> Really bad. Dana! What'd you get, Kenny? Huh? Oh, man. A bunch of discs. Wow. Natural plastic in there? C line CD2. Right, we'll see it in the yeah. truth. You going to ultimate with that new disc Discmania. D line P2. XT Atlas USDGC stamp. Okay. XT AVR USDGC stamp. USDGC G Star Dominator. USDGC G Star Thunderbird. And a Legacy USDGC stamp clutch. Legend clutch. Legend clutch. Yeah, it's funny. What I think the fans want to see is you play your entire round with your new box tomorrow. Okay. Lanyard. Oh. Ultimate disc. And some caramel corn. Stickers and whatnot. There you go. It's pretty solid. You already made your money back in your entry fee right here, buddy. It's pretty solid.